Okay, guys, now we have reading passage three. <clears throat> if you manage your time well for reading passage three, you will have around 20, 25 minutes. And if you don't manage your time well for reading passage three, sometimes students have only 10 minutes. Okay, so you should manage your time. Time management means you need to decide which question first, which question after, and what's the method where questions and answers are in order, where they are not in order. The title is Endangered Languages. Now, endangered languages does not mean dangerous languages. It means the languages which are going to die out. Die out means around 7,000 languages are going to die out in the next 20, 30 years. Die out means like dinosaurs have died out. We don't have any dinosaur on this planet now. In the same way, endangered languages, in the same way we say endangered species of animals, endangered animals, animals which are in danger of being an extinct, right? So, endangered languages, never mind. Whales save the languages, says Peter Monaghan. This is not very, very clear, but anyways, this is the subtitle. In actual exam, things will be pretty clear. Printing quality will be very good. Now we're using the photostats, so it's not that clear. Now come to questions. <clears throat> 27 to 32. Questions 27 to 32. What is the question type? <coughs> yes, no, not given. So will the questions and answers be in order? Absolutely. And what is the difference between true, false, not given and yes, no, not given? True, false, not given is for factual information, right? And yes, no, not given is for writer's opinion or writer's claim, okay? Yes, no, not given, writer's opinion. True, false, not given, <coughs> factual information. Now, we read the questions, then I give you the time. Question number 27, by 2050, what's the clue word? 2050. Now, look here, look here, look here. Don't find the answer. I'll give you five minutes for that. Don't worry. By 2050, only a small number of languages will be flourishing. Will be flourishing means will continue to make progress. Now, listen. If by 2050, small number of languages will be flourishing, it's true. If by 2050, large number of languages will be flourishing, then it is False. And if they don't tell us whether the number is small or large, then not given, right? Question number 28. Australian academics' efforts to record existing Aboriginal languages have been too limited. Australian academics' efforts means in Australia, some acad academics, they are doing some efforts to record. Record means number of languages. To record existing Aboriginal. Aboriginal means the languages which are spoken by native speakers. Aboriginal languages have been too limited. So their efforts to record existing languages are limited. If their efforts are limited, it is yes. If their efforts are not limited, they are expanding it, then it is no, and otherwise not given. A fatal mistake that students do in yes, no, not given, what do they do? They write true, false. For yes, no, they write true, false. So if you do so, your answers will be wrong, absolutely wrong. Be careful with that. Question number 29. Use of technology in language research is providing unsatisfactory in some respects. So if use of technology is unsatisfactory in some respects, it is true. <coughs> some respects mean some areas, right? And if it is providing satisfactory results, then it is, sorry, uh, no, otherwise not given. Question number 30. Chomsky's political views have overshadowed his academic work. So Chomsky is your clue word. You can just see if his political view, what he thinks about politics, if it has overshadowed his academic work, it's yes. If it isn't like that, then no, otherwise not given. Question number 31. Documentary linguistics. Uh, okay, let's do one thing. For 27, please uh, underline 2050. Can you find it? Okay, first paragraph 2050. Okay, for 28 Australian academics. 
No, it's third paragraph as well. They continue, Australian academics. For academics, they use the word Australian linguist. Third paragraph, found it? Underline that. Question number 29, technology. Technology in language, language research and technology. First, second, third, and fourth paragraph, exactly. Fourth paragraph. <coughs> and 30, Chomsky's political views, Chomsky. Yeah, it, uh, on the title page, it's the last paragraph. Yeah, Chomsky is mentioned there, but you need to see Chomsky's political view. So political view is in the last paragraph on the title page. Okay, next please, documentary linguistic studies. Now, documentary linguistic studies, where do you find it? Yeah, documentary linguistic. It's the second page, first paragraph. Got it? Okay, after that, question number 32, Chomsky's attitude to disappearing languages is too emotional. Chomsky, again they mention Chomsky, last paragraph on the right side column. Chomsky disagrees, found it? Okay, now these are the locations and uh, we have uh, six questions. I give you six minutes for that, right? Please go on.
Let's do this together. Question number 27. What is the answer? No. Very good. Clapping. Huh? Okay, let's decide. I'm not imposing my answer on you. By 2050, only a small number of languages will be flourishing. Please come back. They say here, uh, okay, I'm reading it from second line. Well, neither of those is doing any worse than a large majority of the 6,000 to 7,000 languages that remain in use on earth. One half of the survivors will almost certainly be gone. One half of survivors, survivor means the survived languages, will almost certainly be gone by 2050, while 40% more will probably be well on their way out. Now 40% will be well on their way out and one half, that is almost 50%. One half is 50%, so what is that? They say one half of the survivors will almost certainly be gone. By 2050, only a small number of languages will be flourishing. What is that small number? 40%. What is one half? 50%. So what is the answer? Yes. Yeah, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, so, this is why IELTS is not a good thing. When you have a test, you have to put two pieces of tile and you will be able to get it. 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 You will be able Okay, so the answer is yes. 28. Okay, Australian academics' effort to record existing Aboriginal languages have been too limited. Please come back. <coughs> Second, third paragraph. If the losses are so huge, why are relatively few linguistics combating the situation? Australian linguistics, uh, Australian linguists at least have achieved a great deal in terms of preserving traditional languages. Great deal. Now, what do they say in the question? Too limited. What is the opposite of too limited? Great deal. Well done. So the answer is no. Very good. 29. Use of technology in language research is proving unsatisfactory in some respects. Yes. Please come to uh, the right side column. And we are going to read it from, but these are encouraging. <coughs> are you there? Okay, now let's see. But these are encouraging the quick dash style of recording trip, fly in, switch on digital recorder, fly home, download the hard drive and store gathered material for future research. That's not quite what some endangered language specialists have been seeking for more than 30 years. So what's the question? Use of technology in language research is proving unsatisfactory in some respects. Let's read on. Uh, okay. That's not quite what some endangered language specialists have been seeking for more than 30 years. Most loud and... Untiring has been Michael Crosses, the name, and uh, he has often blah, blah, blah. Anyways, come back to this point. That's not quite what some endangered language specialists have been seeking for more than 30 years. Means what they want to seek, they are actually not seeking that. That's not quite what some endangered language specialists have been seeking for more than 30 years. Now, what you want to seek, if you're not seeking that, what is it? The use of technology, before that they talked about it, in research is proving unsatisfactory. Now tell me, what is the word for unsatisfactory? That's not quite what some endangered language specialists have been seeking for more than 30 years. If you read back, you will get the other part of the story as well. So the answer is... 
Answer is yes, actually. Use of technology. Okay, let's read it. We go back a little more. No problem. Let's just go back. Uh, I'm reading this paragraph from top. At linguistic meetings in the US where the endangered language issues, third line, something of a flavor of the month, there is growing evidence that not all approaches to the preserv preservation of languages will be particularly helpful. Not all approaches will be helpful. Some linguists are boasting, for example, of more and more sophisticated means of capturing languages. What is that? Digital recording. Understand? Okay, now let's go on. Storage and internet and mobile phones. So all these things are related to what? Use of technology in language research. Let's go on now. But these are encouraging the quick dash style of recording trip. Fly in, switch on digital recorder, fly home, download to hard drive, and store gathered material for future research. That's not quite what some endangered language specialists have been seeking for more than 30 years. Means they are not actually looking for this thing. So the statement use of technology in language research is proving unsatisfactory in some respects. It is yes, actually. Yeah, you're doing third passage. So when you go back home, then you will understand, okay? Yeah. You know, sometimes someone tells you a joke, the first day you don't understand. The second day you are doing something else, you will laugh at it. Yes, the joke of the joke will come today. Anyways, let's go on. 30. Chomsky's political views have overshadowed his academic work. <coughs> not given. They did not mention that. Please come to this uh, Chomsky's political view. It's the last paragraph on the title page. Chomsky from his post at the Massachusetts Institute has been the great man of theoretical linguistic for far long than has been known as a political commentator. But his political views and whatever he does, his landmark work and all that. So Chomsky's political views have overshadowed his academic work. They did not mention anything about it. They mentioned his political views. But they did not say that his political views overshadowed his uh, academic work. So it's not given. 31. Documentary linguistic studies require long-term financial support. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go on. Yeah, funding. They use the word funding. Please come to second page. And which line is that? This requires, got it? Fourth, fifth line. One, two, three, four, fifth line. This requires that documentary linguistics, uh, li linguists observe not only languages, structure, <coughs> uh, subtleties, but also related social, historical, and political factors. Such work, such work means, such work means documentary linguistic studies. Such work means that. Such work calls for persistent funding. So what is that for persistent funding? Long term is persistent. Funding is financial support. And the answer is yes. Question number 32. Chomsky's attitude to disappearing languages is too emotional. No. Well done. Very good. Let's go on. We found Chomsky again. Uh, the right side column, third line, last word, Chomsky disagrees. Found it? Okay. Now, let's go on. All right. Chomsky disagrees. He has recently begun to speak in support of language preservation, but his linguistic as opposed to humanitarian argument is, let's say, unsentimental. Okay. Let's say unsentimental. The loss of language. So unsentimental means not emotional. Here they say too emotional. What is the opposite of too emotional? Unsentimental. Like you say you are too emotional. You are unsentimental. Means you have no emotions. That's the opposite thing. So the answer is no. Alright. Isko sabko locate kar le. Ghar ja ke padhiye ga. Thik hai. Baalo mein tel lagaya kare. Phir kharish nahi hoti. Aur ye vaise bhi mera khar reading wali kharish hai. ठीक है ये कभी भी हो सकती है स्क्रैच करें दिमाग को आइडियाज आएंगे अलाइट ये